Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another uh, project uh, suitable for beginners. This one's going to be on top, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, today we're going to turn a traditional top. Uh, most of y'all probably have turned these, but some of you beginners may not have, and this is a great skill builder project, and, and it's a lot of fun, and, and like I mentioned before, for uh, novice turners, it pays to take some item that you can do over and over and over and develop some tool skills. I'm going to show you how to decorate them, how to color them, how to shape them, and, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, about tops in general. So we're going to take a cylinder, turn it between centers, and put a tenon on it, appropriate for your chuck. Then, I, then I'm going to use a spindle gouge for most of this turning. I'll lower the tool rest just a little bit. Uh, so just to give you some idea where we're going, we're going to generally these you want these to be about one to two inches in diameter and about one to two inches tall and you want the body to be about half the distance so we don't want to make this thing much much longer than that the body much longer than that about half of it uh, that's for optimum spin you want dry wood if you have green wood eventually it's going to warp and won't spin very well you want very tight grain and very straight grain a uh, quarter sawn type of wood is 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 ideal so let's get started i'm going to use this half inch spindle gouge start working on cutting the tip down sticks out a little bit so it's a little bit little bit chattery so I'm going to take light cuts as I bring this down to a point slower toward the tip so go slow take your time and you don't want too sharp a point but you want to make sure you removed any damage from the uh, uh, live live center and that looks good nice nice hard hard fairly blunt blunt point so now we can start coming in the other direction slicing in this is uh, Osage orange a very tough wood fun. Try that again. All right, I'm going to switch to a smaller spindle gouge that be a little less aggressive, I hope. I'm going to take smaller cuts. center of gravity for the decorate the even the, the uh, stem a little bit it just adds to the attractiveness before we get the stem much thinner we can look at it and see if we want to put any uh, sandpaper on it I think that's got a nice smooth cut I'm not going to worry about that top looks looks pretty good too that's close enough um, for for the top so I just want to decorate the stem just a little bit with maybe just a little bit of feature here couple little decorative features there. Now before we go too far with the stem, uh, we can decide whether we want to decorate. Uh, I'm not going to decorate this uh, this beautiful Osage orange. I'm going to use some of this uh, scratch-free with an abrasive in it and a little bit of a wax 
type compound just to shine it up a little bit and and take any, any minor minor scratches out. I could have sanded this with 400 or like I say I got a pretty clean cut so this is going to be close enough for a top. I think an oil wax type of finish uh, is, is a good choice. We're going to do another top and I'm going to show you how to embellish it with a little bit of uh, texturing but let's go ahead and take this one off. Now the stem should be fairly thin for it to get a nice spin on it. Maybe uh, now I like to put a point on the end too so you can spin it on either end. So we're just going to narrow this down a little bit. Put a little, few little decorative grooves in it if we like. Now let's just go ahead and point that off. I'm going to switch to a skew. I think it makes it just a little bit easier. I'm going to slow it down. I had a pretty high, a high rate of speed, about 2,000. We're going to slow it down to part off a little bit. We're just going to have this drop into our hands. And there we have a small little little spin top and uh, if I did enough of these uh, with the right kind of wood I'd probably get a little faster at them. But now let's do another one. Let me show you how to texture. Okay we're going to do another one and we're going to texture this and this is a piece of dogwood. Uh, we're going to go ahead and true it up make sure it's brown. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a 3 8 inch uh, spindle gouge, put a point on it. Again, we want this to be about one to two inches in diameter, or about you metric folks, about 25 to 50 millimeter. The stem, we're going to have it about three sixteenths of an inch, or about five millimeter. And again, we don't want to make that point too sharp because otherwise it's not going to spin well; it'll get damaged. So we want a somewhat flat point. Go slow, take your time, and I think that'll that'll do well. Now, I've got a pretty nice finish off of that cut, so I'm not going to bother to uh, sand it. I could probably, i take it back, I could probably touch it up with a little 400 grit. Now, you can decorate these with a lot of different different tools. You could just use a, uh, a felt tip marker and not do anything else, but I'm going to use a chatter tool. This is a fun thing when you're demoing because people enjoy, kids really enjoy this because it's kind of exciting to and hear that squeal and it brings attention. So. Uh, we're going to come down somewhere in the middle and get the speed up 15 to 2500. We're going to go from the center down to about 730. And we've got a nice, nice pattern. Now I like to separate that pattern just a little bit where it changes, just to kind of define it a little bit better. So I'm just going to put a mark there, mark there, a little bigger mark there. Okay, Auburn just uh, lost to Georgia, but I'm an Auburn fan, not a big diehard fan, but we're going to use Auburn colors. And we're just going to uh, do this in a trailing uh, speed lower than about, no, no more than about 200 so you don't overheat this. Put it in a trailing position, that is the handle up, and then just come along here and just decorate it. This is a great activity for kids. 
my uh, shop fairy is not around today or I'd have them decorating but I'll have to do that another time looks like my blue marker is just about out of gas note to self buy some more Auburn Auburn blue uh, colors uh, let me try another type of pen I've never used these before oh yeah this will work good Okay. Alright, so now we got the front of it done. Now we'll just go ahead and I'll probably fast forward this into the next phase since you've seen me do this. Okay. So now I've got the back side. Uh, done. So before it gets too thin, we're going to go ahead and decorate that. Again, we'll touch it up with a little, little 400 grit. And we're going to pull this back a little bit. We're going to come in from the back side. It's a little trickier. Uh, but we're going to come in from close to the center down to about 430. I'm going to lay it, instead of using the point, I'm going to use the side. Oh, and i got a very nice bold texture. I like that. Uh, I'll show it to you when we're done. And we're going to come in and just define that just a bit. Again, we'll use some use some color since I started with blue on the top here on the front. We we'll use blue on the to meet it. Come on down here and come back with a little little war eagle orange here. My son went to Alabama. I should use the black and in red I guess and make him one. He's not a big football fan either. switch back to the skew that final cut slow it down just a little bit I probably could use a little wax probably if you put wax on this it's probably going to smear um, it may have dried we're going to give it a try I think the colors are going to run if I use that wax uh, wax walnut finish so I'm just going to use a little bit of light spray of, of lacquer mist to kind of set the color a little bit and we'll give that a couple of minutes to dry. Got that speed down to closer to about 1000 to 1200 part it off. Just going to come in here with that skew. And there's our our over time. Now I think you can see the texture when I came in with the side of that blade how nice that that was. If you want to know more about chattering I've got a video uh, go back and look on uh, what's that screeching noise and you'll find out more about chattering.